I'm Matt with Rolling Wrench, and I'm going to show you how to buy scooters cheap and fix them and ride them or just sell them. Check it. We've got this uh, Honda Ruckus. This is exactly how I bought it. Doesn't turn on, doesn't start. Some things that I look for when I buy a scooter is uh, I don't really care about what it looks like on Japanese scooters. Chinese scooters, different story. So I always try to turn the key on most of the time whenever I'm looking at real cheap scooters. Um, nothing works. Uh, so turn this on. I always want to make sure that the, that the engine feels good and getting pressure. I always try to start it too. This one won't start, but I'm not worried about it because I want to know that the engine has compression. And by doing this guy and there's resistance, you know that there's compression or you have a pretty good idea at least. Uh, again, this is the way I, it looked when I bought it. Um, and uh, there was no, no cover here. So I, I, I do kind of a, an inventory. So I know it needs a cover here. I know that we need a battery. And most likely it needs a carburetor clean because when scooters or motorcycles sit around, uh, the uh, carburetors get gummed up. So I knew that I needed that. Uh, I wanna make it look nice. So I know that this guy's cracked. So what I did is I already bought a brand new seat from Honda. Uh, I already bought this panel to make it look nice. Um, and this black cover, it goes back over, over uh, the battery box cover. And also the screws to, to hold those on. And one more thing, I've got a new battery here because I know I'll need that. So uh, I should have everything to make it look nice. I just wanted to kind of go through and uh, show you my thought process. Um, so here's a before and I'll kind of walk you through what I do. We'll turn it into this. No, just kidding. All right, do the battery. Wood screws, classic. All right, putting the new battery in. Here's the trick, screw the this guy in first before installing the battery, then once it's in, unscrew, because these little guys fall out constantly. Get that sucker on there. This one handed. Same thing over here. All right, now that I got the new battery in, let's listen for the notorious clicky uh, fuel pump. Let's we'll see if we hear a click. You don't, so that's a good sign. Sometimes you just click, 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 and you're, and you're like, uh oh, this thing might need a fuel pump. So let's see if it starts. Oh. All right, let's get these uh, bolts out of the way because the dude before tried to do some work already. So I'm gonna remove this guy and get this out of the way. Do that. Let's see if it starts. By the way, it wouldn't start before because the fuel pump was unplugged. Fuel pumps, un if the fuel pump's unplugged, you don't get anything. It just, just makes a ticking noise. All right, got that off. Now I'm gonna clean the carburetor. Tried to start with ether, it only runs on ether. So, here we go. Yep, we got some green gas in there. It's cleaning the carburetor now. Normally when these scooters sit around, uh, you have to clean the carburetor. Normally uh, when you go to buy a scooter that's not running, that's the one thing you should know how to do. You should always wear a, a mask. If you're dealing with this stuff, it really reeks big time. It's not good for your lungs either. Okay, you probably can't hear me. If you want to learn how to clean a carburetor on a Honda Ruckus, we have a video for that. It's actually for sale. It's a, it's a paid one. Most of our videos are free, but that one in particular is for sale. It's on our website. Oh yeah. Oh. A little rough. We have to uh, run that gas out of it. But it runs. Yeah. Woo! All right, so now I'm just, I've got this PJ1 
renew and protect, I just spray the living hell out of every plastic piece and rubber piece and it will con condition the heck out of it. You don't want to do it on your, your tire, seat, or grips because it's super slick, but this stuff is amazing. I still need to replace that, but I just have this stuff sprayed everywhere. Just let it soak in and it'll be good as new. No dry rotting will occur after this. Do this like once a month if you want to be like a little good about it. All right, new seat. So we're coming along here. Got this thing sprayed down pretty good. I did spray the tires. I know you're not supposed to, but I just want them to soak in and I'll clean up. Just be careful on my end. And I just, one thing I did forget though, the little, the little key uh, carriage, this guy, this little guy, I need to get that. You might have one laying around. There it is, bam. Ruckus, good as new. They got super cheap. 